dark. All the lights were out. Right now the storyline is a little uh, odd. I don't really waking up in the crash car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone.
figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Energizer paid some advertising for this, too. During your... Trying... It's the latest. Yes. Right ball sheriff station. Hello? Hello? Next. Two. One. Stay. This man. 